Hello, this is Natalie with another Drupal video. This time it's about a web form. We'll be creating a simple contact form using custom fields and um, conditional recipients as well as a dependent field which is provided by a web form conditional modules. A conditional field is when uh, you want to you want the field to show up depending on the value selected on another field. And web form actually comes with this functionality, but only for multi-page forms for now anyway. So that's why you need to install the additional module called web form, web form conditional to have this functionality on the same page. In case you're wondering why we're not using the built-in Drupal core contact form, the answer is you can and I've actually used it before, but if you use a web form, um, but the core contact form is very simple and very limited. For example, if you want to see all the submissions or create custom fields, then web form might be a better option. And of course you can use it for pretty much any other purpose, such as creating service. So I have opened a website where I have both modules installed and I'm using Drupal 7 for these tutorials, but the process is pretty much the same on Drupal 6. I don't think there are any significant differences between the versions. We start by adding a new web form content. Give it a title. And maybe a short description. And now you can start adding new components. Start with name. Make it mandatory. Then email. There is an email field for that with some additional settings. And if a user is logged in, you can use their email as default. It's Mac and mandatory as well. Now let's make a list of different categories to send to different emails. I'm going to use select options. Again, mandatory. And when you specify several options, you need to use key and value. So in this case, I'm going to use uh, emails as my keys. And I use pipe as a separator. I'm going to add a text area for the actual request. Let's rename it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Next is we'll let our um, we're going to let our users to select their country. And we will use select options for this. Don't worry, you don't have to type the whole list of countries, 200 or how many of them there are right now, because Webform actually comes with a pre-built list of countries and we're gonna grab it from here and we're, go we're gonna check list box option which is a web form way of naming drop down select let's check how our web form actually looks right now uh, 
and I think it looks just fine. So let's go back and add a state. Uh, a state is um, obviously a US only um, option, so let's choose US states and drop down select. So this is where we need to use the conditional rules. So first, which is a component that this field uh, depends on, which is a country, and we need to choose the United States as a value. Now, not this is a bit confusing, but when they say choose a value here, they actually mean a key from the select options that we created. So you need to remember what the key is. Let's go and check it right now. So we go back to country. The key for United States is going to be just the US. This is, I think this is the one difference between the Drupal 6 and D7 versions of the module that it used to be USA. But again, no one prevents you from modifying this list however you want it. This is just the default pre-built list of the countries. Grab it and now let's choose it, choose US as a value. Uh, let's check if it's actually working. So if I choose the United States. Okay, let's try clearing the cache. Great, it works. Now let's add the Canadian provinces just for the fun of it. And I apologize for being so North America centric in the screencast. Uh, now Webform does not come with pre-built Canadian provinces, but you can easily get them from the Drupal docs from this page. Scroll down and um, there you are. Someone already did the job for us. Don't you love it when that happens? Let's copy it and go back and paste it in the options. And again in the, uh, well, let's choose the select. And in the conditional rules, Again, we are making depend the country and I believe the code for Canada is CA. Hope I'm right. Let's clear the cache just in case and refresh the form. And if I choose Canada, I get the province and if I choose some other country I don't get any states or provinces. This this is exactly the behavior that we wanted to get for our web form. Oh and if you're wondering about what this comment field is doing here, well that's because web form is actually node so it gets some of the um, functionality that nodes have in Drupal such as commenting then you can turn it off in um, the content configuration. You can turn it off in uh, content types. Uh, comment settings, just uh, disable. Change it for the existing node. Okay, there is one more thing we have to do and we need to set up, well, let's check the form settings. Uh, I think it would be nice of us to create some kind of a confirmation message for our users.
and I don't want any redirect. Well, you can see there are a lot of different options here. Keep it simple for now. And let's set up email. So we want this uh, form submissions to be sent to different emails depending on uh, the selected value. So let's add a new setting. So web form will grab emails from the option list that we created for this component. Then it can also uh, modify email subject, email address, for example, you can use the uh, user, the value from the email field and the name is again from the your name field and you can modify the template and anything else. All right, we're done for today. Webform is really a very powerful module. You can do a lot more with, with it. But I know that contact forms um, are needed on many websites and dynamic dependent fields are requested very often. So I thought it would be helpful to create a screencast about that. And as usual, if you have any questions and you want to suggest a topic for the future tutorials, please let me know on my website, friendlydrupal.com.